Hello, it's time for another basic beer review. Uh, we've got um, a, a beer from North Brewery this time. It's a can of their Ultra Phase Double IPA. 8.4% ABV. It's been around for a while. Um, got it from Tesco. It's been in Tesco for a while, to be honest. Um, I think it's about £4 a can, but they, have do, they do that uh, 4 for 3 um, offer at Tesco. It might be actually cheaper than that. It might, might have been about three seventy-five. Um, but anyway, um, it's certainly not a weak beer at 8.4% ABV. It reckons it's a, lush, lush, a luscious double IPA made with USA and Australian hops. Then it tells you about the flavours that you're going to get, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to see what flavours I get. There's no um, information on the can about what hops are in it. But, you know, so what? Um, we'll have a see what we get. We'll see if we like it. We'll see what the taste is like. Uh, see if I can pick up on any particular hops that are in there. Um, Australian hop. Not sure if I know much about Australian hops. Um, and well, American hops. To be honest, I don't. I don't know where most hops come from anyway. But um, let's uh, let's give it a go and anyway. let's see what it's like. So uh, as I say, not much more to say about it. It's uh, ultra phase. It's a North beer. It's been out a while. It's a double IPA and it's eight point four percent, which is a little bit stronger than the average. The average I'd say would be. 8% bang on the dot. So we've cracked it open. Um, we're going to give it a little bit of a pour. Ooh, God. It's got it all over the place. Um, and we'll just get about that much in it. There we go. Um, like looking at it, it's pouring very light, hazy colour. Just like a ha light, hazy yellow. Um, not a massive head. Um, two, well, one finger. Head, relatively fluffy. Um, let's have a see. Held, holding up to the light, it is very, very light in colour, actually. Which I like. I do like a. I do like a beer that's light in colour. It's a hazy pale. To me, it's supposed to be light in colour. I'm getting some f smells coming across from it already. Let's uh, let's get the nose in and see what uh, what the nose is telling us. So straight away, I'm getting a bit of dankness there. Definitely, definitely, a fair bit of fruitiness. Get a bit of melon, a bit of grape, a bit of pineapple. It smells like I have, might have a bit of Nelson in there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're getting, well, it's a, it's a bit marmalade -y. I would say, yeah, definitely, definitely quite marmalade. A little bit of citrus in there. It's got really fruity on the nose, to be honest. Dead fruity on the nose. Yeah, it smells really nice. It's got a really nice, kind of slightly dank, fruity aroma. Possibly a bit of gooseberry. Yeah, definitely. A little bit creamy. Smells delightful. It really does. Smells great. Okay, I cannot smell this any longer without tasting it, so let's go in for the old taste. Cheers. So it's lovely and fruity. It's really soft, really soft mouthfeel. Um, it's not very bitter, not bitter at all. In fact, it's um, very mo very smooth, a little sweet, I'd say. It's got quite, I'd say it's quite, quite a thick mouthfeel. Quite a light flavour, but quite a thick mouthfeel, I'd say. It's creamy. It's a bit oaty. It's just the kind of beer that I like to sit in the garden and drink. It certainly doesn't taste like an 8.4%. There's none of that alcohol in there at all. It's just... You could down a pie this easy. Maybe not the second pint. But yeah, it's really... It's got a lovely thick mouthfeel. It's, um, it's not massively heavy on the flavour but you don't always want it to be dead heavy on the flavour and um, if it's certainly a sipper in the garden um, it could be quite a dangerous beer this one because it is so easy to drink 
and if you had a few of these in quick succession you'd know about it it is very pleasant it is a very pleasant double IPA all I would say it's very pleasant but it's very dangerous as well um, sometimes I like the IPAs to pack a little bit, bit of a punch that see already I'm slurring my words on it um, a little bit of a punch um, just to just to remind you that it is a very strong beer and then it kind of reminds you I think in your head you start to sip it more when you can when you can taste that it's a really strong beer a bit more so you tend to take your time a bit more with it this one I'd say you know, when you're tasting it, it does not taste like a really strong beer. I'm starting to get a little bit of the warming in now in my, th in my throat. Um, just have, a, have to have had a bit more of it. And I am just sipping it. I'm getting a little bit of bitterness now. Get a little bit of grapefruit. Um, it seems to be developing a bit, the flavour, which is brilliant. I love a beer because so many times I'll drink a beer. Um, Kingslayer is a perfect example of this. Um, whenever I drink... And I used to love Kingslayer. Um, I will review King Kingslayer for the channel. Um, people who know know the beers know Buxton Beer, Kingslayer. It's in Tesco. It's been in for a long time. Um, and that's a beer that I always get a can because I always love it. And when I start drinking it, I'm always underwhelmed. I'm always like, mm, I'm sure it was better than this. But by the time I get halfway through it, it's um, the flavours have developed a bit. Um, you've kind of tuned in with the flavours that the beer has to offer and it's, it's so much nicer the flavors change as you go through it so and as it warms up a little bit the flavors change and by the time i say by the time halfway through it it's absolutely amazing i think why didn't i get more than one can um this one is a bit like that okay that one i wouldn't say i was un underwhelmed when i started but it was a little bit i was getting certain flavors um now i'm getting slightly different flavors it's getting a little bit more bitterness now it's not as sweet as it was getting more of those marmalade flavours but I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit bitterness on it now it's really pleasant there's no synthetic flavours in there there's nothing that's slightly off it's just really nice really drinkable really fruity double IPA it is absolutely amazing it's great and at the price um, I think £4 a can is a steal if it was less than £4 a can it's even more of a steal and I'd say at 4 for 3 in Tesco it's even more of a steal it's amazing it's a really nice beer um, yeah, I mean, as far as um, IPAs from the super, uh, double IPAs from the supermarket that I've had recently, this I'd say uh, ranks as one of the best. Um, I've had I've had this before. I don't remember it knocking my socks off uh, previously, but I'd say it's one of the best um, double IPAs I've had from the supermarket. Um, it's it's nice. It's got it's got quite a lot of flavour. It's got a nice thick mouthfeel. It's creamy. It's oaty. It's uh, got a little bit of bitterness. Nice and sweet, fruity. And yeah, well, what more can you say about it? It is a really nice beer. It's a really good bargain. Get yourself one. See what you think. Um, yeah, that's all there is to say. And go and enjoy the rest of this one. So until next time, have a good one.